got? What's, what's going on here tonight? Is something big happening with Theresa May? Have they all no. Got Nothing. Are you from the mainstream media? I'm from ITV. ITV? Yeah. Uh, would you answer a few questions about why the mainstream media is so politically biased? It's alright, there's only one person watching and it's on public property. Come on, you must have some, you must be able to answer some questions because every time I look at an ITV report or a BBC report, it's always biased. Oh, is, it, is this the journalist? So there's no journalist here? Oh, so you're a producer, so do you control the narrative on the news then? What's, um, what's force fed out to the general public? It's fine, you're on public property so we can record you. You can record me as well if you want. Hi, you're right, my name's James. No, I just wondered, because obviously the, I know the public itself has lost a lot of trust in the mainstream media, um, particularly, well, mainly the BBC. You know, I've lost trust in Go on. sort of random, um, random well, people. So yeah. are we not allowed to come up and challenge you? No, no so but you I, don't, I don't appreciate you filming me. But you're on public property, so you can be filmed. Yeah, I can be filmed. Yeah. You are more so I, I just want to know, if you're a producer for ITV... Are you? Not really. I'm only trying to have a conversation yeah, with you. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're, you're thinking which I stop with you. Oh, no, no, you carry on doing what you're doing. But as a producer of ITV, would you agree that your news is biased? Would you agree or not? No, no, I wouldn't agree. So you wouldn't that. agree that it's biased? You wouldn't agree that it favours the political establishment and you don't actually listen to the working class people and, you know, get the message out there that we're trying to get out? I think do you, we do listen to it. You don't, though, really, do you? Do. I mean, we look at it. Do you, I mean, do you cover a lot of the stuff that's going on with the Islamisation of this country? Do you, recover, do you cover what's going on in the mosques in this country? The hate preachers that are preaching hatred towards non-believers? What's going on in the madrasas? Come on, I'm only asking you a few questions and you won't answer them. Come on, you must have an opinion. All right, see you later. Bye. And if I come across like I'm offensive, I'm sorry, I just thought I'll come over. I know, but I don't, I don't appreciate you being slightly aggressive in your tone. I'm not being aggressive at all, okay. I promise you. Okay. But I just wondered, as a concerned working class citizen, what you, what you thought, what I your opinion is. We're working class, aren't we? I don't think and you I are. Think Personally, you don't think, well, you don't know no, I life. think you're just a bit. But uh, no, have you got any opinions on the Islamisation of this country and how, what's going on in this country as a whole? I'm sorry, I'm not answering. No, there you don't think there's an Islamisation? Do you know most recently, Marks and Spencers have now started selling hijabs for children as young as three years old. What's wrong with that? Yeah, you explain. So you're forcing children to cover up. We we don't want. Mark hold on, Spencer's. no, hold on. So the parents are going to Marks and Spencers and buy hijabs that they're forcing onto their children. Um, and you just laugh about it. We can pull off now, by the way. Great. You can pull off. Oh, I hope you have a lovely day and thank you, you for being so unproductive. No and just say hi, what was your name again? And you no, work for business. ITV and you work for ITV. So I hope you have a brilliant day. Cheers. Well, hold on. Look. Ah. Go back over. So they didn't like that, did they? Bit annoying, really, because we only wanted them to answer a few questions about the Islamisation of this country, and they didn't want to know because they think they're better than us. So, yeah. Well, that's that. That's that done for another night. So, every time you see a mainstream media journalist, just can't help but go over and challenge them. And well, like I said, they didn't want to answer any questions because they don't want to admit when they're wrong. So, yeah. I'll. <laughs> I'll see you all later and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're all well and I'll see you this Saturday, DFLA March, 1pm at Park Lane. It's going to be brilliant. See you all later.